Welcome to a better way to establish and measure key performance indicators. KPIs are often overused but underutilized. They often measure how you're performing but not why. And numbers are often used that no one understands or knows the source of the history of. Instead, a KPI should require little or no interpretation. You should be able to look at that number and right away know how you're performing. And they need to be actionable. So what are not KPIs? Well, things like visitors, customers, sales revenue, sign-ups, registrations, or top 10 lists of campaigns, most popular pages, products, downloads, customers. These are not KPIs. They tell you how you're doing, but not why. We also need to look at cause and effect. We don't want to only track the effect of the work that we're doing, but we want to track the cause of it so we can make changes. And we track events that cause performance. And events exist in all kinds of actions. It could be filling in a form, downloading a document, or submitting a question. So what are great KPIs? Well, we think of these as the wrappers. Rates, averages, percentages, and ratios. So it might be the rate of form fills, the average rating per article, the percentage of people who submitted a question, or the ratio of registrations to visitors. Of course, we want more registrations. And if we doubled registrations in one month on our website, but we also double the number of visitors, the ratio stays the same, which tells us our website's not performing any better. It's just that we had more volume. So if we're looking at making effects to our website and improving things, we need to look at the ratio. And all of these should be looked at over time. So how do we determine KPIs? Well, the KPI CARTA methodology is a framework for deriving KPIs that are actionable. And it really helps when we have vast amounts of information that are coming from a variety of personal viewpoints or interests, and when the data is subject to interpretation. The KPI CARTA methodology is universally applicable. It doesn't matter the industry, the type of business, or the organization. And if we look at the KPI hierarchy, we would start with measures. This is the raw numbers and data that we have in our reports. And these are not KPIs, even though they're so often used as KPIs. When we slice and dice those numbers, we look at the relationships of those measures, we get the four wrappers. And as you can imagine, you can have an unlimited number of metrics. Above those, we have the KPIs. These are special metrics that tell us how we're doing in our business. Above that, we have critical success factors, which are items or activities that are vital for your strategy to be successful. And if we're doing those right, we may very well meet our goals and objectives, which are set by high-level management. And in fact, this hierarchy follows the organizational structure that we have in a company. The challenge, though, is that we can't figure out what our KPIs are from that hierarchy. And it's foolish to go out and look at hundreds or thousands of KPIs and choose one that's best for you. Instead, we use the KPI Carta, which starts from the top. We look first at our goals and objectives. That drives our critical success factors. We then want to hone in on what is the marketing phase we want to look at? This is the stage you're at at selling to your customer. We then look at the audience. What segment are we looking at targeting? And we want to divide our, our audience into various groups. It could be new customers versus existing customers. It could be by location or gender, etc. What's the strategy? What's the overall long-term plan? And what's the tactic? What's the immediate short-term plan that we want to deploy? From that, we derive KPIs. When we calculate KPIs, we start at the bottom. We start at the measures, and these are the raw numbers and data, and it's all of the various reporting data that we have. As we slice and dice them, we get the, met the wrappers, and some of, the, some of these, again, are important enough to tell us how we're doing. So what we find is that KPIs are driven by business goals, but they're constructed from measures. And this then becomes a, mer a mergence, really, of business and technology. If we look at a real-life example, 
We worked with a client last year that was a medical journal publisher, and they were concerned with the decrease in print demand versus online. Not surprising, in the media industry, more and more people were going for online content. But the goal and objective still was to increase revenue. So that became the first part of the KPI Carta. The second level was the critical success factor. And this then became to increase revenue generated by online activity only by 15% over the 2013 calendar year. And a critical success factor always has those two components. It has a fixed measurable amount that we want to drive towards and to accomplish that in a fixed period of time. The marketing phase they looked at was to convert. There are in fact four marketing phases acquire, engage, and retain, but they specifically looked at convert, which is to convert browsers and casual users into customers. The audience they wanted to go after was the international market. The strategy was to reduce the average time to purchase, and the tactic for doing that was to simplify the conversion funnel. And This is where as we bring people into the website in this case, to move them along the purchasing process for that funnel. And the KPIs they wanted to look at then was the completion percentage of funnel starts, what percentage of people started, and if they didn't complete it, where did they go? And then the percentage churn of those people to call centers. In other words, how many people started the process and what percentage of those bailed partway through to call an 800 number. And of course, they wanted to decrease that. The measures then are all the various numbers that we have, including visitors, call center calls, page views, and so on. And as we slice and dice those, we get various metrics. Some of them are important enough to be considered KPIs. The important thing to notice here is that the effect of all the work we do throughout the year is to increase revenue. That's not something you can measure through strictly through KPIs. Instead, we want to look at the cause. We want to measure as KPIs the cause, and if we're able to accomplish those KPIs, the revenue will take care of itself. And what we build then using this process is a CARTA hierarchy of exactly how those KPIs were formed, the history of creating them so that everyone can buy into it. And we get increased revenue, the critical success factor was to increase online revenue by 15% over 2013. The marketing phase was to convert. The audience was the international market. We wanted to look at the strategy for reducing average time to purchase. The tactic was to simplify the conversion funnel, and here now are our completed KPIs. So we get this hierarchical structure so that everybody in the organization, even those doing low-level tactical work, can see that what they're doing is contributing to top-level goals and objectives. So a good KPI needs to be a calculated number or a wrapper. They need to be comparable over time. They need to track events which cause performance, not just the effect, and be related to business goals and objectives. So please contact us for more information on KPI Carta workshops and KPI consulting services that we offer. Thank you very much.